Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of your midweekend forecast. We've got, again, some pretty quiet conditions for right now, but we are going to be seeing the possibility of looking ahead to some fog tonight and could be some visibility problems into the morning and also looking at the possibility of some up and down weather into the course of the next couple of days, including some pretty big temperature swings as Canada opens up and sends a ton of cold air down our direction. That'll be coming up by about the middle part of this next week and the potential before that of maybe some thunderstorms out there. Right now, the good news is we're not seeing anything in the way of problems out there where it comes to severe weather. Keep up to date with what's going on with our weather app. We'll have that, again, available for download. More information, again, at wreg.com slash weather. Welcome to Weather Overtime. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on with the forecast, again, going to be chilly for tonight and numbers dropping a few more degrees, but not by much, only back in the lower 40s and could be, again, that patchy fog across the Mid-South into very early tomorrow morning. We want to keep up to date again with all the forecasts. It's available again at wreg.com slash weather. And of course, if you can't stick around for all the information, scrolling by down the blue bar at the bottom of your screen right there for the time being. Chilly overnight, but not really seeing too much of anything out there in the way of a major problem, but we'll keep an eye on that for right now. Channing Kids 7 to 10 day forecast, actually. Thank you very much uh, for asking and welcome to everybody else for checking in from across the area. Drop your location, city, state, and any weather information out there. Give us an idea as to what's going on in your neck of the woods and we'll read off some of those reports as they scroll on by for tonight. Like Charlotte Pryor, Clarksdale, and Chile here. Thank you very much. Uh, for that weather report there and everybody else for tuning on through. Chad Bateman, any winter weather next week? Possibly. We'll answer that question coming up Question coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. Pretty close to where we should be on temperatures for the entire day today. Again, if we would have gotten a little bit more sunshine, could have made it closer to normal, but we're back in those lower 50s as we approach the end of the year. 43 was our official low temperature, nowhere near the record low of 11 set back in 1950 and a record high of 76 set back in 1924 on this date. No precipitation and we're going to finish up the year with 70 inches of rainfall. That's 20 inches above normal, 20 inches plus as a matter of fact. So doing very nice on rainfall for the course of the next couple of days. Index for air quality looks pretty good for right now for tomorrow. Uh, we've got a little bit warmer air up on top and down below closer to the surface that's kind of holding that air in place which includes some pollutants out there and the moisture that we've got in the form of fog. A lot of that right in the Mississippi Valley but for right now should be looking at good air quality into tonight and into tomorrow. Becky Street Sanders, Beach Bluff, Tennessee, 40 degrees. Thank you very much. Uh, for that one, Regina A. Jones Guyton, Millington, Tennessee. Chilly report uh, from there. Welcome to everybody else for checking in. Chandra Walker, cold in Memphis. Uh, thank you very much for that one. And everybody else checking on through for right now. Bridget Latrice Maxwell, chances of snow for Memphis by Christmas. Uh, statistically, the Mid South area in general. It gets about maybe a less, statistically, a less than 10% chance of a white Christmas every single year. It just does not really happen that often down this direction. So, possibility of it happening beforehand, yes, but accumulations, you know, we'll talk about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. So, stay tuned for more here in just a little bit. Johan Elroy Dodson, sleep in, warm coffee. Yeah, man, sounds good. Unfortunately, some of us can't do that as we have to get up very much early in the morning for things out there. Big River Crossing lit up nicely, but you can see, again, the fog and the clouds out there in downtown Memphis as the Mississippi River makes its way on by. Now, not everybody is getting the fog for tonight. Again, low-lying areas uh, around creeks, streams, lakes, rivers, places like that are going to be seeing more of that fog into tonight. So downtown Memphis probably going to be seeing a lot more into around the area and then we would say about maybe around I-240 out toward the east side of the Super Collider uh, in Shelby County. And in, again, rural areas, better possibilities of fog out there, but that's going to be about it for right now at this time. Jim Little, I think no snow this month. Well, that's a very broad statement, and you're not specifying an area either, so that's a 
Very interesting prediction right there to say no snow anywhere at any time, if that's what you meant. Cold in downtown Memphis. Samantha Griffin, thank you very much for that one. Uh, weather report out there for right now, and not exactly seeing a problem out there for weather. Mike Phipps, not afraid to say the S word. Uh, I'm not afraid to say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, but again, thank you for thinking me of me on that uh, for right now. Robert Brownlee, you can make the snow happen. Doesn't work that way. I'm in PR. I'm not in management. So again, thank you very much uh, for that one for a good vote of confidence. We're back over here with, again, the areas of cloud cover, again, stuck across parts of the Mississippi Valley. But back to the west of us, notice the moving lines on screen. We're going to be getting a lot more southerly winds tomorrow. And that's going to bump the temperatures up as we get into the next couple of days. Meanwhile, back out to the west, Decently strong storm system making its way into the west coast, not causing any travel delays, so that's good news. But it is doing a pretty good job of causing some slowdowns into the travel areas of the Intermountain West. Winter storm advisories, watches, warnings, all in effect for anything west of the High Plains, all the way back to the Sierras and into around parts of Southern California's mountains as well. So some travel delays, anything, say, west of Denver and anything east of L.A. could be looking at some slowdowns out there. Here in the Mid-South area, precious little going on for right now. Decently quiet across the area, again, with Storm Tracker 3S radar not picking up anything in the way of rain or snow, all of which we can get at this time of the year. Temperatures back in the upper 30s to lower 40s on live real-time WeatherNet 3. Winds are light down toward calm. High humidity, cool temperatures, and light winds. That's a pretty good 3P recipe for, again, the possibility of fog, and that's exactly what we may be looking at into very early tomorrow morning. So if you're heading out early for church or Sunday school or wherever you're going tomorrow morning, a little bit of extra time would not be such a bad idea just to be on the safe side. Low temperatures for the metro area into tomorrow morning should be bottoming out into around the lower 40s or so. North of I-40 should be looking at lows in the upper 30s to around the lower 40s. South of the I-40 corridor, temperatures again also in the upper 30s to lower 40s. And pretty much exactly the same for the I-40 corridor from eastern Arkansas back over toward middle Tennessee. Rest of the evening again showing that cloud cover starting to increase so whatever semi-clear skies we have for tonight we'll be looking for more clouds overspreading the area into tomorrow morning lows in the upper 30s to lower 40s heading into tomorrow afternoon those southerly winds start to make their way on through so we'll start to see an increase in the temperatures i really don't think the computer gets very over eager in a quiet environment to throw as much as possible in the way of rainfall out there I don't see any rainfall really beginning in earnest until we hit tomorrow evening. That's when we start to see the best possibility of rain showers out there. Now through tonight into tomorrow morning, visibilities, this is in miles as we go into tomorrow morning, could be again seeing some pretty low visibilities. Southern Missouri, eastern central Arkansas, northwestern, Tennessee, northwestern Mississippi, and west Tennessee could see the worst of the worst. And again, some parts of the area near zero. Dense fog advisory. Haven't heard from the National Weather Service just yet. Is it possible? Yes, but we still could see, again, the possibility of this uh, slowing some things down into and around uh, tomorrow out there. So, again, much of the area to the west of the Mississippi and in the Mississippi Valley will be picking up the best possibility of fog tonight. And then east of that area, Jackson, east of Dyersburg, east of Oxford, around Corinth, Tupelo, down to around, say, uh, all the way into around Columbus, could be seeing some less foggy conditions, but still some haze possible into and around the area there. K. Houston Simpson, just glad to keep everybody informed as much as I can. Thank you very much uh, for that one into and around the area for right now. Austin Williams, please don't make me come this way. I work outside every day. Uh, well, doesn't look like it's going to be, again, the possibility of too much of a problem. We'll take a look at that forecast here uh, in just a little bit. Now, into the next several days, rain and thunderstorms on Monday. Big push of cold Arctic air is about to descend across the U.S.-Canada border. And as it does, we'll be looking at a big cool down heading our way. We, on the other hand, are going to get more of a glancing blow out of this thing, and it's not going to be as cold as, say, the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, New England. They're going to get socked by some very cold conditions out there, and we're talking like maybe some single-digit temperatures out there. Us in the Mid-South, we'll talk about that in a little bit. 
By the time we hit Tuesday morning, mostly rain and could be a few thunderstorms left over. Tuesday afternoon, that very cold, dry air starts to make its way on through, and there could be the possibility of some mixed-in rain changing over to snow. But I think the ground temperature is too warm, and I think this push of cold air is going to be out of here before anything really seriously develops into anything involving snowfall. Could be some, again, looking out the window, seeing some snowflakes mixed in with the rain, but accumulating on the ground, it just doesn't look like it's in the cards at this point. So that could change. And again, if you've never tried winter weather forecasting, I urge you to give it a shot because it is a very humbling experience. Trust me on this one. All right, taking a look back towards Shelby Farms Park, the ice rink in full swing. Uh, looking back to the area around Hyde Lake and seeing some of the traffic on Walnut Grove out there. Decently quiet for tonight. A lot of people lined up for a chilly evening of a little ice skating out there. I'd like to get out there myself at some point in time. It's been about 10 years since I've done any ice skating myself. Mostly cloudy skies as we go into tomorrow. Those southerly winds will keep the temperatures up, and by evening, we may see the potential of some showers out there. Monday, even warmer. Temperatures back in the mid-60s. That's about a category and a half above normal for this time of the year, about 10 to 15 degrees above normal or so. So by Monday, showers, possibly some thunderstorms out there. Tuesday morning, again, that's when the cold air really starts to set in. We'll be in the upper 30s with rain Tuesday morning, cold rain, Dismal start to Tuesday. Good day to get a lot of extra time going, no matter where you're going across the Mid-South, as we could see some windy conditions out there. Good morning for a lot of hot chocolate, I would think, out there before the kids get on the bus. And the temperatures, again, only in the lower 40s for highs. By the time we hit early in the morning to about lunchtime, before the dry air sets in and rings everything out, there's that possibility of seeing some snow mixed in with the rainfall. Again, Right now, as of about Saturday into Sunday, it doesn't look like a huge winter threat, but we will be keeping up into and around what may be changing. And these storm systems, as they make their way in, all it takes is just a little bit more moisture at one level, some colder air at another level, mixing things together at the wrong time for the wrong place, and it goes from rain-snow mix to sleet or freezing rain. That doesn't look to be happening at this time, but things like that can happen. So again, this is important to keep up to date as to what's going on, and the weather experts will help you do that over the course of the next couple of days. So keep it tuned again for updates. But either way, expect a chilly start and a chilly finish to Tuesday after a very mild Monday. Over the next few days, looking good toward the end of the week. Temperatures back in the upper 40s. Not exactly what you would call mild for this time of the year, but at least we'll get some sunshine out there open up the blinds and the drapes and get some free solar heating going on. That'll help your utility bill out for a little bit. Sure did wonders uh, for mine out there in the last couple of days. Next best chance for rainfall, unfortunately, looks like it's going to be toward about next weekend or so, but we're not exactly talking flash flooding here. Better chances of light scattered showers, too warm for anything but rainfall, not powerful enough for any severe weather. Should mention at this time, again, looking into Monday, there is a possibility of thunderstorms not looking at severe weather at this time. So again, definitely some good news on that uh, for the time being from what we're taking a look at for right now. Uh, Lee Lloyd going deer hunting tomorrow afternoon. What's the weather look like? Again, looks good up until about mid-afternoon and evening. Then more chances of showers move through. Otherwise, cloudy and southerly winds coming up our direction. So it'll be a little bit more mild tomorrow for outdoor activities. But by about, say, sunset or so, I would start watching for the possibility of more showers moving on through as we get some more activity taking place uh, there for right now. Again, overnight doesn't really look too bad at this point in time. We'll have an update on the forecast coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Either way, we'll be looking at low temperatures tomorrow morning, dropping back into the lower 40s for most of the area. Some places are already, like you saw in WeatherNet 3, right about there right now. So for the time being, that's about as cold as it gets. Mostly cloudy skies, overcast into lunchtime tomorrow, and temperatures back into the mid to upper 40s or so. Tropics are quiet, so we're not going to feature that for right now. We're still putting together our latest weather pictures. Thank you very much for sending those in, so stay tuned for more on those throughout the rest of the weekend. And if you've got weather pictures out there to share, let us know. Send them along to me on social media, on the social media websites that I've got out there, or go old-fashioned for email 
and send them along to my austin.onic at wreg.com address, and we'll be putting together more of those coming up a little bit later on, so stick around for more on that. Don't forget, you can also check out our forecast whenever you want to for the Mid-South. It's available at wreg.com slash weather. Tons of great information there about how you can volunteer with the National Weather Service, more information about how you can catch News Channel 3 on Apple TV, Roku, or Fire TV out there, and also a whole bunch of other information, including our new video, or our new uh, blog out there, uh, blog posting out there, podcasts. You can check out more about tornado terror, uh, how it looks from our point of view in front of the camera. I'll have more information coming up on our late edition of our weather blog, Weather Overtime. That'll be coming up at about uh, 8.45, 8.50 tonight. We'll take a look at weather where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, you can stay tuned for more on that as we take a quick look around the globe and see what it's like for people out there who are still on duty and can't make their way home for the holidays coming up. So again, stay tuned again for more on that and catch again more forecast updates available on my social media networks. We'll have plenty to talk about on News Channel 3 at 10. I believe we'll be on a little bit late tonight because of the runover of the SEC championship for tonight. So stay tuned for the late edition there. Also, again, more information on the forecast coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak, and it'll start bright and early Sunday morning with yours truly at 6 a.m. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for joining us for tonight, and stay tuned for more updates with your weather forecast throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online. Thanks a lot for stopping by.